Good afternoon. In this beautiful Arkansas setting, there is nothing more joyful than to celebrate the beginning of a brand new marriage from two people who unconditionally love each other. Samuel and Elena stand before God, their families and friends, to announce to the world that they will be husband and wife. They believe God directed them to be at the same place at the same time, and that it was no coincidence that they found each other. Marriage is an amazing thing. It is so close to the heart of the Lord. Whenever he communicated his relationship to the church, he chose marriage as the example. The kind of love Jesus has for the church is the kind of love, Samuel, you are to have for Elena. You have made your parents very happy. For years they have prayed each of you would find God's mate. For years they have thought about this day. Truth be known, on the day you were born, they had in the back of their minds this very day. Samuel and Elena, I ask you to choose a life verse for your marriage. And I absolutely love the verse that you've chosen from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Listen to these words. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. This verse forms the foundation for a great marriage. It is vitally important to understand that this kind of love is not a feeling love. It is a love that chooses.
Samuel and Elena have written vows to each other and will privately share them with each other together. Samuel and Elena, you have given sacred vows to each other. You have exchanged rings as a symbol of your covenant. And you have said before God, your family and friends, that you will be committed to each other for life. There is only one thing left to do. Samuel, would you like to kiss your bride? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my joy and honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Benjamin Amstutz. Thank you. 